Hey there, everyone. This is Lance Shuttler, and I'm back with Coach Corey Bell, and we're going to have a part two conversation, kind of going a little bit further on the conversation of athleticism, nutrition, health, wellness, and just different things that can be done for athletes. Um, Corey, thank you for being here again. Uh, you know, in the last episode, we talked about sunlight and grounding and, you know, different things that athletes can do for free to enhance their performance, their recovery, and just, you know, overall optimization for what they're doing for their particular sport. Um, but Corey, could you please just share with us a little bit about who you are and, you know, your background as it relates to sports and coaching and, you know, just everything sort of in that sort of realm? Sure. I am a, uh, well, I'm a strength conditioning coach. As you know, I work at West Orange Stark High School uh, in Orange, Texas. I have had stops at Ohio State, um, Boston College, New Mexico Military Institute, and now here I am in the high school sector. Um, I work with athletes all over the world, um, mainly in the track and field area. I have worked with a couple of, of Olympians who were in Tokyo as well. Uh, both of those are my athletes. And so, so yeah, I, mean, I have my hands a little bit in everything. Uh, I've done some work on the tactical side as well, too, working with first, first responders, um, working with military. So uh, anything performance, anything strength related, anything optimization related, I've had my hands in it from a, from a coaching um, standpoint. That's really awesome. And, you know, you've shared many stories with me and it's really incredible, you know, already what you've done in your life as it relates to what you just said. Um, so one question in particular, Corey, is, you know, nutrition. Obviously, athletes know how important nutrition is. Uh, there's so many different suggestions out there for people. Um, but from your perspective, why is nutrition mm -hmm. important for athletes? Uh, yeah. and, and why is it something that people should really, you know, spend even more time on uh, in particular? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got my first start in nutrition. Um, uh, when I was changing my life, um, I was, I was totally involved with substance abuse and everything like that. The first thing I ever tried from a holistic standpoint was parsley tea. I was trying to clean out my kidneys, um, try to optimize my hormones and, and all that type of stuff, man. So that was the first thing that, I, um, I did as far as taking down, going down this road of holistic, holistic nutrition and holistic nutrition is the thing that a lot of athletes now are not exposed to. And what I mean by that is we got to step away from just your typical macros, your po protein, carbohydrates, fats, and all that type of stuff. And we started got to start going into more of a holistic viewpoint. Like you said, whether that be um, sunlight, whether that be natural supplements like Ascent Nutrition, whether that be um, grounding, all that type of stuff. Um, and so our athletes now need more exposure from that because these are the things that have been around for thousands of years since the beginning of time. You know, I use this uh, analogy a whole lot. It's an example, but it's the truth. Roman soldiers used to march roughly 20 miles a day, 20 miles a day, okay? Still set up camp, still break down camp at the end of the day or in the morning and do it again all over the next day. And then our athletes now are seeking load management halfway through the season. You know, like there's, there's, there's some kind of correlation there that's just not right. And so what I try to do and, and how I go about my nutrition planning and um, my optimization is just really tapping into what makes our cells tick? You know, what, what makes, not from a mechanical standpoint, but from a cellular standpoint, from an energy standpoint, that energy matter correlation, right? How do we become more energy through our nutrition and then minimize the matter standpoint? That's where we need to go. That's where um, nutrition moving forward in the future needs to head to for our athletes is optimizing it at the lowest level possible, the cellular level, and then the mind, and then everything else will trickle from there. The, the body has to follow the mind. And our, our muscles respond from our cells. Yeah, that's amazing, Corey. And, you know, if you think about food at a fundamental level, it is energy. I mean, it literally yeah. will go down to the electron level to where electrons are being given to cells so they can, so the mitochondria can use them to power the whole cell and do what needs to be done. So exactly. Right. That's really incredible. Um, you know, what are athletes or what are programs more specifically like in the, the college level? Uh, mm -hmm. How are they doing in terms of helping their athletes? And, you know, I know that schools have budgets and things like that to be mindful of, but what do programs, where are they at right now? Just in terms of your view in general, are they, you know, on par? Are they below par? Are they above par? Are they doing things, um, you know, 
that are really progressive and cutting edge or still sort of behind the times in, in some different ways. I mean, I'm sure it's different for every program and the different doctors and, uh, you know, practitioners each team has, but what's the sort of feel like in general for just overall nutrition? Yeah. So, um, you know, that, that's obviously body weight is a huge staple in any performance uh, endeavor, you know, um, optimal, op, optimal body weight is what you want in, no matter what the sport. Um, and so it's, it's very, it's a lot of different ways of how places go about that. You know, I've seen big time programs order McDonald's for their kids, you know, and you gotta, you gotta keep in mind as well too, that a lot of these kids, that's all they know is McDonald's. You know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of students, a lot of student athletes, they come from food deserts where they, they don't even know what a healthy food is. They can't tell you what a, what a cucumber looks like, you know? And so we got to keep that in mind that these kids need something in their body because they may not have anything at all from where they're coming from. So that's, that's number one. Number two though. Um, yes. Yes. You do see a lot of just feed the guys, whatever, or, or the, or the ladies just feed them, whatever. A lot of education does go on. I don't, I don't want to lie about that. A lot of education does go on, but it's that decision. It's that um, putting, setting the kids up for success nutritionally, that is the critical aspect to this whole thing. And some schools do it right and some schools do, do it don't. I would say the majority of schools in the nation at least attempt to do it right, but it's a constant fight of breaking bad habits from the athlete um, and trying to introduce them to new things in their life that's going to be benefit them and give them longer careers. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, clearly it's got to be a case by case basis. And, you know, there's just a lot of different factors that have to be taken into account clearly. And so that that's really good to hear that because it does put a good perspective on it for, you know, let's just say if someone, because I've been in this mindset of college programs or, you know, sports programs, they should just overhaul most of what they're doing and they should just yeah. implement all these cool, new, amazing things that we know work. Uh, but, you know, there's mindsets involved, there's uh, money involved, there's a lot of different things that go into that factor. But this is cool why, you know, we can talk about this stuff uh, and get this information out there regardless of, you know, we, we won't have a gatekeeper, um, you know, stopping this information. We can just get this directly out to the athletes to benefit them uh, in particular. So, yes. you know, one thing I know Corey, that you and I share in common uh, amongst many things is our passion for researching and really finding unique foods or supplements or nutrients that really enhance performance, both from you know a mind level, a brain level, and then also physically. Um, yeah. You know what what got you really interested in digging deep to find you know the cool new things out there as it relates yeah. to supplements or nutrition. Yeah, I was that guy, man, that went on Amazon and, and literally researched for hours <laughs> what product I wanted to try, what product I wanted to buy, um, and all that type of stuff. So once I once I actually met you and did more research in your products and, and more research on Ascent Nutrition, um, I found a one-stop shop, to be honest with you. Uh, like I said, I've always been part of the holistic crowd as far as nutrition goes, as far as supplements and all that type of stuff. And that's what I was searching for on Amazon, but uh, I was wasting my money. Now that I have a, a, a home base that I go to, it, it's great. You know, whether it's the uh, DHA oil, whether that's it's a pine pollen, whether it's pine needle extract. I mean, everything is a one-stop shop with its nutrition. And that's why I'm so glad to be uh, affiliated with the uh, with the company as well, too. And and that's what I prescribe to my athletes. You know, a lot of supplements, your protein, your this, your that. If your body's not in an optimal state to actually um, filter all this stuff and maximize what you're putting into your body, then it doesn't matter. And from a holistic standpoint, what that does is it, it prepares your body to actually use what you're putting in it. You can eat all the protein you want to. You can eat all this and that that you want to. It doesn't matter if you're putting junk, if you're putting uh, clean fuel into a junk body, right? If, you, if, you're putting, if you're putting 93 gasoline into an old diesel truck that you haven't taken care of, because that's what's happening a lot with people, uh, not just athletes, but people in general. Um, and so what, what, what these of them is doing and where I found this home base, which I'm so, so happy I did is uh, it optimizes that it turns that diesel truck into a, a Ferrari, man. And uh, it cleans out that system uh, from a cellular level. And I've, I've always tried to find a way to optimize the body and the mind in a way that nobody else is doing it. And uh, I, I found that now I found that. Thank you, Corey. That's uh, yeah. really, really appreciate it. And we're very, very happy. And I'm very, very happy 
to be working with you and collaborating with you and just even know you, uh, you know, because like we've talked about, the people that we choose to work with, first and foremost, are great human beings. And, you know, secondly, they're, they're top notch at what they do with their profession. Um, you know, so I really appreciate all those words. Now, what are a few of the supplements that you particularly like and, you know, maybe how it relates to athletes um, and yeah. you know, their performance yeah. recovery? Yeah, man, I'll, just, I'll go through my, so obviously I'm a coach. So what my day looks like, um, wake up super early in between the hours of four and five, typically, uh, first thing I put in my body, I come downstairs and I'm, I'm hitting pine oil extract, uh, the full spectrum hemp oil and DHA oil. That is boom, right there in the morning. That's how I start my morning. Uh, go in and, and have a little mind time. And then I work out. Uh, my post-workout is going to involve some kind of smoothie. Uh, I predominantly do fruit before 11. From 7 to 11 is where your, your body's at the highest detox level. And that fruit is going to allow you to um, help with the detox. Um, of the body. And then in my post-workout shake, I'm putting pine pollen in there. I actually get a, an acute uh, energy spike from the pine pollen. I know how much it, it does for the body, especially for men as well, too. Um, and then, you know, I'll have my Ascent coffee. I have my nootropic focus and I'm coaching, man. I'm rolling. And so what that does is in the early morning, I address all those things and it, it, it primes my body to produce as much energy as possible. You know, we said in part one of our interview, you have that, that correlation, right? We, we want to be more energy and less matter. When you are at more energy, you're, you're functioning at a, at a higher vibration. You're operating at a love. You're operating at a peace, at a joy. Those are the things that you want. And um, you, can, you can find that first and foremost. Yes, it starts in the mind, but you can find the assistance in these supplements. And you got to do it early in the morning. And so that's really what I, what I use. Um, I definitely push DHA oil, DHA oil for the athletes. Um, that, that, that conductor there. And I'm, I'm sure you'll probably touch on that, but it's an energy conductor, man. It's, it's bringing your, 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 your nervous system is your cables. That's your railroad to your muscles. And if those tracks aren't smooth, uh, those muscles aren't going to fire. Right. And so that DHA oil, it lubricates those tracks It lubricates. So that, that railroad and that, that train can go smooth into that muscle, AKA the electricity. And, um, so yeah, man, uh, I hit that DHA oil again before I go to bed. Um, and so, I, yeah, that's, that's how that's how I roll my day. That's really awesome, Corey. Thank you. And you know, you can yeah. explain the DHA very well. It's conducting electricity in the body, and it's just making everything work better. Um, you know, the pine pollen, amazing stuff. I also feel acute, strong effects from it. Uh, you know, of course, the hemp and the newest product, the the pine needle extract, really great for the respiratory system, lungs, breathing, yeah. cardiovascular system, so forth. Um, and so yeah, go one, ahead, Corey. One thing I would add in, man, that for those who are, you know, we're saying words here, Lance, that people are like, oh, that tastes awful. The pine needle extract is sweeter than any honey that you're ever gonna eat in your life, man. I was I was kind of blown away. I was actually really surprised at how sweet it was. It's like a it's like a like a nature syrup, man. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So I just want to throw that out there um, before we continue with this conversation. Yeah, thank you, Corey. It, it really does. It it's uh, organic glycerin, yeah. organic vegetable glycerin with the pine needle yeah. extract at a one to four ratio. So it's you know a good strong one, but the glycerin helps cover up that sort of like uh, harsh bitterness that would normally yeah. be there with the pine needles. Um, yes, Corey. So we're running out of time here, but I really appreciate you being here again. And you know who you are as a person, first and foremost, is why we chose to partner with you. And, you know, I, I know it goes both ways. Um, but I really appreciate what you do uh, for Ascent Nutrition to help get out the word, but also helping human beings to just be better people and, you know, just push ourselves forward from a sports enhancement level. And then also from, you know, just the basic human level. Sure. Yeah, no doubt, man. Uh, no, thank you, Lance. Um, you know, and then we just need to remind people that you can take as many supplements as you want and you can perform however you want and all this type of stuff. But if you don't address yourself internally, you know, from a mindset standpoint, then none of this matters. You know, this is, this is just a, an assistance piece to it, but in order for self-healing to start, it starts in the mind and in the heart that has to be in coherence. And then, um, you really maximize these supplements and maximize nutrition and, and live in an optimal state. Yeah, Absolutely. Thank you, Corey Bell. I really appreciate it. Uh, Coach Corey, where can people find you online? And then for everyone 
also wanting to know, we will put the links below for the products in the description. Yeah, yeah, mainly I'm on Instagram. Um, Coach underscore Corey Bell is where I post the most. I do have a Twitter. I'm not on there all the time, not as much as Instagram. Um, that's also Coach underscore Corey Bell as well, too. So find me on there. Um, be more than happy to speak to people on there. Awesome. Thank you, Corey. I really appreciate it. Uh, have a great day. Thank you, everyone, for listening. If you got questions, comments, put them down below, and we'll definitely address them. Awesome, man. Thank you, Les.